Hello guys, Zungo here from the tutorial. This one will be on how to customize your interface. So, yeah. Um, this first, if you want to customize your preferences, come down here to your emission editor, basically preference editor, and you could change different things about Maya. For modeling settings, like if it's on centimeter or meter, things like that. Save actions. Undo's an infinite or finite. Save actions. And then what we're going to do from here is press save and this could be done. For rendering, you can change the my software to mental ray. Probably be longer to render, but the results are better. Also, you can create your own shelves. This, I don't know how I made this. Well, I, I know how I made the shelf, so let me show you guys how to do this. Basically, click down here on this little arrow and click new shelf let's name this Sungo's shelf seems illegal characters uh whatever it's just name this shelf one there alright um so now let's say you want to add something to your shelf what you want to do is first let's go to Edit mesh. So you want to add something to your shelf. You do Control. You hold down Control and Shift, and then click on it, and Shazam! As you can now see, it's added to my shelf. And see so what to add the merge tool. Same, same applies. Hold down Control and Shift, and click on it. Shazam! You most likely want to select the shelf while you want to while you're adding stuff to it, because might 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 not know which shelf you want to add things to. And now if you want to delete these icons. You want to do, or you if you want to delete the shelf, just go to delete shelf. But let's just load shelf in. Oh no, wrong shelf. I mean, wrong thing. Uh, shelf editor. I mean, now we can edit our shelves. And from here, you can delete, delete tools from your shelf or things from your shelf. So delete merge by clicking on it and pressing delete. And now it's gone. Click on extrude and press delete. And Shazam! Now let's delete this shelf. Yes, I think I spelled shelf wrong. Uh, let's delete this tab as well, or no? Let's just keep it. So, yeah, let's delete, delete shelf. Yes. All right, and now if you want to add things to say over here, like on the side or anywhere, like pull them off. Basically, what you want to do is drag this off and you can basically pull it out or drag it wherever you want it to like wherever you want, want for it to go so yeah if it has this on top just drag it and you can place it wherever you want over there but I like mine over here so I'll just leave it over here and um you can also let me see what else you can change your background color as well by, by pressing alt and B now it's dark Kind of light. I like I like this one the best though. Kind of looks cool. And then you have this. And that's pretty much for this tutorial. One another thing I wanted to show you guys though is my rig I'm working on. Cause I'm trying to work on a parody Minecraft parody right now. Oh crap. Probably that's just shaded mode. Oh, textured mode. I mean. There. Rig kind of looks cool. I'm still working on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to work on a parody right now. I'll probably just work on Minecraft animations or a parody. I'm not sure yet. He has sort of like a round mouth. Looks kind of cool. I made this like two or three days ago. So yeah. Kind of looks cool. These controls are kind of crap. Like I don't really like them. Like this for eyebrows. This is for eyes. This is for the eyelid on the top, which you can see right there. This is for the bottom eyelid, I believe. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this rig. It's not done yet. There's just no joints in it as of yet, or and there's like basically, well, I I basically just just like added colors for this for the skin sorta. Of. I, I I didn't really want like a texture for this like a skin. These are all just different things. Color different colors. And 
the face I have like teeth inside okay I colored the inside as well and the inside the mouth as well and it's called face mode oh crap oh whatever and say let's so oops just be don't know why it's acting up right now but no yeah if you guys saw what happened for me right now like everything's just turned yellow if that ever happens to you just press B it'll go away oh, that looks kinda weird so yeah his teeth kinda look weird whatever it's my first rig I made this in like what 20 minutes or less has blend shapes as well but yeah not sure animation blend shape I'm not sure why it isn't working but whatever well yeah but guys that's basically it for this video I I can now post 15 minute videos or longer I had to enable that through my account settings and so yeah you guys can now possibly expect more long tutorials if that sounds good to you guys because I personally don't like long tutorials and I'm watching them but I guess it's good for learning stuff I assume and also do you guys want to know here's another fact from Maya if you want to turn off the grid just click this right here now you see the grid is gone if you want to isolate your selection click this right there oh whoops let's go back to object mode let's say select that click on that it'll isolate your selection this wait, this right here is his x-ray mode I use it a lot to sort of see everything through your object everything that's inside of it and um you know what I'm gonna show you guys how to create this kind of round mouth thing so I always, I always have the problem like I had the problem of how to make these kind of round mouths and they're kind of hard to come by to how to learn so let me show you guys how to make them so let's just file to get advantage of this 15 minute thing new scene don't save alright so now let's create a cube let's my go up to create polygon primitives cube what I do to because I don't like really customizing my uh, spheres the shaded mode by pressing 5 um, we turn an interactive creation like the cube just shows up in your screen and you don't get to drag the base and the height see if I turn this on I create a cube now oh, oh. and I create a cube now it now says for me to drag the base and the height but if I turn it off and oh my god and I now press it it just puts a cube in the middle of my scene it's so much better because it's kind of hard just dragging the base and the height every time. It kind of gets annoying. So yeah, go to our channel box, change these inputs. Oh wait, I forgot to say something. Go to settings. Make sure this is on meter. I believe. All right. So now let's drag this over all of these. Press one. All right. And um. Now let's try to do the mouth thing. For the segments I put well I sort of watched Bootstrap's video and he kinda had like six segments I believe, so put six. And now I kind of like adding eyes in as well, so oh wait, wrong place. <laughs> if you want to select more faces, like more than one faces, so you just hold down shift to deselect you press shift like hold down shift again you get to deselect. So uh, I want to add more. I want to add some more segments. I think like, it's kind of hard to work with these little amount of segments. So let's use eight. And um, yeah, I like putting the eyes in, like I said. So let me put these eyes in. And now for the mouth. You remember? I think it was like this. Oh, oops. Let's see. And now what you want to do? Oh, crap! Oh, crap! I forgot. I should have extruded the eyes first. Oh, God, I'm so clumsy. 
Let's just extrude these. Uh, let's just go to object mode and extrude these. If it will work, mesh extrude move tool. All right, now they work. All right, so now let's go back to face mode. If we're not really already there. Select all these. And um, now what you want to do is go to Edit Mesh, Extrude, drag that. I don't know why it's creating all these faces. That's kind of weird. It's never done that for me. Um, drag that in. Drag those in. I don't know why it's creating so much faces. It's never done that to me, like I said. And now what you want to do is drag it backwards or object mode no it's totally off or maybe not sorry guys I'm still in the learning process for this it's not shooting back this always seems to happen to me and I should make a tutorial things never goes how I want for them to go if whatever. Now if I press three, it should look like kind of like a round mouth sort of type deal. But if you extrude this back, it looks a lot better. It's not working though. I don't know why. I think there's too much segments. Um, let's see. Probably just again. So the X-ray mode comes in handy. Shut up! It's supposed to be like going back. Oh no, it's a rotate tool. Right, so let's just drag this back. Eh. Sort of like that, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like. Eh, whatever. Looks good. Sort of. So. Yeah, th this isn't permanent. No, I just I just press three. If you want to make this permanent, what you want to do is go to Edit Mesh. Well, not Edit Mesh. Go to Mesh and press Move. Now it's permanent. Press one. It's, well, yeah. Um, now if we yeah, let's make sure this is permanent. Go up there and rendering. Yeah, all right. This is permanent. So, now if you want that kind of hard looking edges on your Minecraft rig, what you want to do is go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, and just drag that on the front. Just, oh my god, I hate this. Insert Edge Loop. Drag that for the back. Drag it for right. Eh. Unless that let me put it on this side, so make it kind of. There for the bottom. For. No, I'm not really sure that was needed, but whatever. One for the eyes. You don't have to do this. It's just. I learned from this guy called Movie Tunes to his live stream. He kind of taught me how to do this. So I'll go check out his channel as well. His name is Movie Tunes with Z and 7 S at the end. And yeah, guys. Let's go back to object mode. You can now see that we sort of made the round mouth we are sort of looking for to move it around. Most of so far, 14 minutes. Oh, crap. Move it around. Basically, what you do is you select the wide well, select the faces. And just, well, you can select the faces or the vertices, whatever, doesn't really matter, and just move it, sort of. So, yeah. And now, crap, sorry guys, this is the end for this, I guess. So, hope you liked it. Hope you found this tutorial e like fun to learn, I guess. So, not fun to learn, but whatever. So I got trapped in my words. So yeah, peace guys. See you next time.